We read in the book of Revelation that there is a river that proceeds from the throne of God. It's a river that brings life. It's a river that brings health to the very nations of the earth. Oh, Jesus, would you pour out your spirit? Rain upon your people, Lord. Oh, let the spirit of the living God rain upon the peoples of the earth, oh God. Rain upon the peoples of the earth, oh God. Rain upon the peoples of the earth, oh God. Just declare that. Let them see the glory of the resurrected Christ who is enthroned upon the praises of the bride. Let them hear the mighty wave of the Spirit of the Lord as the wave of revival floods the land. Let the river of the Lord flow from the throne of the Spirit. Let the river of the Lord bring life and health to every nation. Let the river of your Spirit flow, flow from your throne. Let the life and health and peace go to the peoples of the world. Oh,
says that he wants his church to arise with a new song, a new song that will testify of Jesus. In Hebrews 2.12, it says that Jesus sings in the midst of the church, oh, the spirit of the living Christ is alive and singing through his people. Like a mighty, skilled musician, the praises ascend, and the rain falls down to the people of the land. Rain, O oh God, rain, O oh God, rain, O oh God, let the streams and tributaries be filled with heaven's fragrance and power. As the clouds are gathered, as the prayers of God's people arise, He will break forth the heavens and bring a mighty, powerful tide. He will bring forth the river of God upon His bride. Oh, yes, Lord. Just ask Him now to pour out the Spirit of the Lord. I see in my heart the heaven open and the rains are pouring down and upon the mountains they receive the rain first and the rain pours down and upon the tributaries and as the rain from God continues to flow with that refreshing touch of his life the rivers flow and ascend and now they descend down upon the people and the rivers increase in fullness. The rivers increase in power as they make their way down through the valleys and the liquids of God pour down forth and begin to nourish and replenish all the areas that need their life and health from the river. And the river of God will flow to the people. And as praise and worship arise to His throne, the clouds gather. And in the purpose and the timing and the destiny of God, he says, now I will reign upon the people. And that's our cry, Lord, that you would reign down upon us. Holy Spirit, that you would flood upon us. And wind of God, that you would blow. And that you would sing, Lord Jesus. Sing in the midst of your church. Sing in the midst of the people. 
Let the testimony of Jesus be the spirit of prophecy. He who has ears to hear, let him hear the songs of the Lord.
like those obscure musicians. Oh, blow upon me, oh, wind of God. Breathe upon me, oh, spirit of the Lord. Let Let me hear, O oh God, let me hear the melody of heaven. Oh, let me hear the melodies, let, let me hear the melodies. Let's just begin to worship the Lord in the spirit. Let's cry out to God. Ask him to touch you. Ask him to fill you. To hear the words of life. To hear the words from the throne of life. To hear the words of the spirit. What the spirit will say to the people of God. We want to hear you, Lord. We want to hear your spirit.
life Lord, fill my life with the fire of your love Fill me with power and strength from above Pour out your mercy is living in me more of the river more of the river of god in my life more of the flow of your spirit more of your love and your grace and your mind more of the power a mighty ocean of love declare it ocean of love that will never run dry fill me with fire and cleanse me inside infinite surge of the sacred supply flow down from the Father on a high oh Lord oh more is
How many of you remember the day when you did not have your spiritual eyesight and you did not even know that Jesus was really the Son of God? I can remember as an atheist saying, God, you're not real. I used to write songs against God. I used to shake my fist at Him. I was a blind man. And there was a time in your life too where you were a blind man or a blind woman. Amen. But God, by His Spirit, gave you life. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Come on, aren't you glad that He has given you sight? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Oh, yeah, yeah. Some of you were dead in your sin and trespasses. Some of you were blind and could not see. Some of you were rich, but you were really poor because you didn't have the Spirit of the Lord. But now you know, and your daily cry is more, Lord, more. More of your Spirit, oh God. I want more of you, oh my Lord. Let me hear your precious Spirit's voice, oh Lord. Fill my life with all the good things from above Oh, Lord, oh, I want to tell you that I love you, oh, my God And I'm so thankful for your faithfulness and love I give my heart and soul to you, oh, precious Lord Oh, I love you with all my heart Oh, come on, let's sing it let the poor man say, I am rich in him. Let the lost man say, I am found in him. Oh, let the river go. Let the blind man say, I can see again. Let the dead man say, Again. Oh, thank you, Lord. And let the river flow. And let the river
Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow.
your face to heaven Let the water pour Let it pour over me the Lord touch you right there where you are just let him touch you the evil spirit left Saul when David played the harp and if you've got evil things in your life that are tormenting you just let the Spirit of God release you and free you under the power of the river of God that flows flow flow just let him do his work today in you
big round of applause for Hatsu Yamamoto on the saxophone. How about Chris on the bass? Chris, we love you. Rod on the guitar. Joseph on the keyboard. Caesar on the percussion. Jason on the drum. And let's hear it for the praise proclaimer. Give the Lord praise tonight. He's wonderful. If you confess with your mouth Yeshua is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10.9 Thank you. 